So you've diligently been at work in the sound booth recording a bunch of sentences for your new experiment, and you've just saved that recording as sample recording chopping.wave. So what you might like to do now is uh, extract out those individual sentence repetitions that you've made in that recording to individual audio files. So, and then maybe save them in a directory like this, tokens. There are a couple of props groups that can help you with this. One's called mark pauses.prot, and that can help you automatically detect pauses or silences um, in your audio file, which will then help you label out the sentences that you actually want to save to individual audio files. All right, then we've got this other script, save labeled intervals to wave sound files. And once you've got a text grid uh, with intervals labeled up, for the sentences you actually want to save, this will go in and then save those into a directory like this. Okay, so let's get started. I first need to go to open long sound file or command L or control L and open up the sound file. Let's take a quick look. Um, I'll just play the first little bit. Item one, repetition one, intermittent talking, Item one, oops, I messed up. All right, so this is sort of to simulate what you might have recorded. So we would want to save this, for instance, to its own individual file. This was junk, this was a mess up, um, and this one might be all right, so let's play that. Item one, repetition three. Okay, so that's good, so we want to save that too. All right, so it would, we could do this all by hand, but it would be really annoying, so that's why we have some help from scripts. So let me close this for now, and let's open up Mark Pauses. So open, read from file, Mark Pauses.prot. All right, the only thing I want to point out right now, so in this top part where it says form and form, at the very end, it says save text grid file to folder, and you should specify where you would like the text grid that this script creates to save. So I have put the same path as where the original audio file is, and don't forget that slash at the end, forward slash, or if you're on a PC, maybe a backslash. Okay, so if I select the long sound, and now I click run, then this dialog box um, pops up. Uh, so this part just says, oh, do you want to mark, try to mark pauses in the entire audio file? If so, then just leave this as is. This part here is all about how you're actually detecting pauses, and we don't need to fiddle with that unless we don't like the way our pause detection works out. Uh, this part is just, as it detects pauses, do you want to put just one boundary at the center of each pause, or two boundaries um, and then, so two boundaries, that is one at the left edge and one at the right edge of the pause. Uh, and then this part is, uh, you can mark pause intervals with this triple X, so then we know, ah, if you see a triple X, that's a pause. All right, so let's run this. Okay. All right. So we can see that, first of all, a text grid has appeared where we asked it to save, so that looks good. And here in the object window, we can take a look at what these look like together. Okay, so yay, triple X. I'm hitting Command N right now to zoom in, and Command O to zoom out a little bit. Um, triple X for silence looks good, but then, uh-oh, um, looks like it's missing this part. That's not good. I could adjust this by hand. Um, now I'm hitting, oops. Command O to zoom out a little bit and say, oh, oh, I missed that too. Whoops. I'm, I'm stepping through this by using um, alt arrow keys, alt arrow key to the right, to the right. Uh oh, it keeps on missing things. So what might be happening is the, the threshold for how loud something is might not be quite right for this recording, which is rather quiet. Um, so what I'm going to do in order to try to get it to say, wait, that actually is not silence even though it's quiet. Um, what we're going to do is go back in. Um, now I'm going to select long sound again. 
and go back in and where are where, where's our mark posits? Here it is. Um, I'm going to say run, and this time let's change maximum intensity for a pause to 40. So let's say that some of that quiet stuff actually is not a pause. Um, and let's try again. All right, so let's say continue. Something happened. One thing I'll tell you is that the script will overwrite the old text grid. So this is actually the new text grid I just made. Let's look at how it looks. Oops. So I'm going to select that together. And let's see how it looks. Hey, hey, look at that. So Command N, Command O to zoom out a little bit. Much better. Item 1, repetition 1. Looks quite good, in fact. So now, um, yeah, so now we're all set. We might do a little light hand editing. So I would usually go through intermittent talking. Oops, let's get rid of that. So what I can do there is I'm going to hit Alt Backspace. Right now, this boundary is in red. It's selected. So if I do Alt Backspace or Alt Delete, it will go away. So we're now we're saying this is all junk. This, remember, um, item one, oops, I messed up. That's also junk, so again, I'm going to do Alt Backspace. I'm going to zoom out a little also by doing Command O, and I would go through here and item two. Item one, repetition three. Okay, so maybe these are all okay. Item two, repetition two. And here, item two, repetition three. Again, I'm using Alt and the right arrow key to advance forward. Intermittent talking, blah, 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 Oops, blah, that's blah. that's all junk. So now I'm going to hit Alt backspace. And now this is all junk. Okay, item three, repetition one. All right, that's okay. Now I'm using Alt, right arrow. Item three, oops, I messed this one up. Okay, let's delete this one, Alt backspace. So now I'm saying this is all junk. All right, item three, repetition three. Okay, and let's just set down a boundary here. And maybe just to be consistent, let's mark out this as an XXX. All right, so now um, I might just uh, save this text grid. So file, save text grid as text file. And let's just save this lightly edited file here. And we're ready for step two.